I'm Marsha Baumhart. We broke the story at 325 this afternoon on WDTN.com. That's where we posted this amazing video. It is that of a Pontiac Firebird spiraling out of control, smashing into an overpass. As you can see, the car broke into three pieces with debris flying everywhere. Megan O'Rourke is live with new information on the crash and the driver in our top story at 5. Megan? Right now, the driver, 19-year-old Brennan Eden, is still in the hospital, listed in critical condition. But after seeing the wreckage, troopers tell me it's absolutely amazing he made it out alive. These piles of pieces and parts are all that's left of the Pontiac Firebird that wrecked during Monday's morning commute. The accident had happened around 7.15 in the southbound lanes of 675, just south of Indian Ripple Road. Mark Riley was on his way to work. You know, you see it on TV, and but to see it in real life, it's, it's something you never want to see again. Riley says seconds before the crash, he was driving in the middle lane, and a Centerville police officer was next to him in the fast lane when the victim passed both of them on the berm. He went down into the grass, into the median, uh, hit the guardrail, went airborne. Uh, the car hit the center post of the bridge that's behind us and literally exploded into three, pe three main pieces. According to Riley and other witnesses, the driver was going well over 100 miles an hour. Troopers say they are now investigating to see what role, if any, speed played in the crash. He is very lucky to still be alive at this point. Uh, you, know, you can see behind me the impact that he took and the, uh, where he got ejected and landed. Uh, certainly, uh, he, he's a very fortunate man right now. The driver was rushed to Miami Valley Hospital by care flight. Officials say it's a miracle no one else was hurt. I don't even know how to describe that, that we have a vehicle that done this much damage and no other vehicles were involved at all. Uh, this time of the morning, a lot of people going to and from work, uh, how, how another vehicle wasn't involved is, is amazing, actually. I'll think different about this part of the highway when I travel it every day. It's just something that you can't get out of your mind. Again, the accident is still under investigation tonight. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.